Uh, right now, we're going to show you what to expect. Uh, the winds and their direction aren't only transporting smoke into our neighborhoods, but they also play a big part on how fast the fire spreads. Weather reporter Mary Jane Baleza is live and has a look at all the factors of how this fire behaves. Mary Jane. Ted, it definitely does feel humid and sticky out here. And as we know, weather does play a big role in how a wildfire spreads, along with fuels and even topography. I spoke with experts who break down fire behavior and what we can expect. As the York fire continues to spread, knowing how a wildfire may behave is critical for fire control. The last few days have been windy as thunderstorms develop around our area. Joshua Thaliker, a few specialist for the U.S. Forest Service, says these conditions make it ideal for rapid fire growth. One of the most dangerous parts, actually, of uh, thunderstorms occurring um, is uh, their gusting erratic winds come out of it and they can go in any direction. Ray Johnson, a fire prevention officer with the U.S. Forest Service, says it's not just the wind we're keeping an eye on. We have to be concerned about lightning here, which could also be starting fires. The area that this fire is in doesn't have that much topography change, so it, primarily it is wind driven. Fire Chief Dave Cochran with the Nevada Fire Chiefs Association says you have to consider the elevation and aspect of the Mojave National Preserve. Not only being aware of the topography, but not attacking the fire from above when you have that slope leading up to you. Fuel moisture also plays a factor. For now, Chief Cochran says the intensity and severity of this fire is leading to extreme fire behavior. Big fires like the York Fire will make their own weather. Um, they'll create clouds, they'll create wind, and they'll create those fire whirls, which are basically tornadoes of fire. You know, with the wind driven, driven fire like the York Fire is, um, I think it's approaching 80,000 acres. It's really, really hard to get your arms around that to get any sort of containment. The top focus now for fire crews is containment and suppression efforts. Reporting live, Mary Jean Belleza, 8 News Now.